YouTube, what is up? Y'all already know who it is, man. It's DTV, and I'm back with another banger. And today, I'm gonna be checking out Ali Sadiq Mitchell. Yo. This right here was highly requested, man. But before we go any further, I need you to do me a solid. If you could drop a like and a comment on this video for the algorithm, I would greatly appreciate it. Listen, we are on the road to 100,000 subscribers and we almost there. But I need your help. So if you're watching my content, enjoying my content, but you're not part of the family yet, we got to change that. So smash that subscribe button and hit the bell too. But are uh, y'all ready for this one? Let's run it, baby. Let's get it. Let's go. I don't give a fuck about my mama tears. What I care about is this. I was in the fucking festival area with my balls lifted up, squatting, letting this fucking child predator look at me. This is what I'm fucking focused on. I'm killing Mitchell. I now already put it in my mind. Oh, shit. Okay. He turns into like a monster here, right? Yeah. Yeah, this is probably one of my favorite uh, intros. So this is not happening. Yeah, that shit is fire, bro. <laughs> I'm super excited to have this guy back. He told my favorite story ever on this show. You guys are going to love him. Give it up for Mr. Ali Sadiq, everybody. Let him hear it. This is what happens when you take a 19 year old boy and put him in prison. That's what happens. Now, I'm 21 at the time because I done settled into the prison now. I've been there for a while. But in prison, you have things that you're very particular about. Like I told my celly, hey, no peeing standing up in this, in this cell. You have to sit down and pee because of this. I pray on the floor. And so if you urinate and you splash urine all over the place, I'm going to kill you. <laughs> <laughs> all right, all right. Just setting the tone. <laughs> so you start to develop certain type of phobias about things. Um, I developed this phobia when I first got to this place called diagnostics in prison. It's, a, it's basically slavery. It's like a bunch of fences. You're in one fence. It's, like it's, it's a space for like 80 people, but they ram like 200 people in the space and you just trying to get your space. You don't want nobody behind you. You don't want nobody but in front of you. You just want to maintain your space. So that's the first um, the first little cage and you have on clothes. So they move you to the second cage and they tell you to take off all your clothes. Now you naked with the same bunch of people smashed in. So now you back trying to get your space. <laughs> don't want nobody behind you. Don't want nobody in front of you trying to get your space. Dude, we all naked, so dude come over and talk to me, say, hey man, what's going on? What you in here for? Hey dude, get the fuck away from me. I'm naked and you in my space. <laughs> so I'm not really comfortable being naked with a, a plethora of men. I'm not, that's not why I'm Yo, I feel you, bro, I feel you. <laughs> so moving forward, now I'm in prison and I remember something my uncle told me. He said, if you never want to be naked in prison, you buy some shorts off commissary and they can't make you take off the shorts because the shorts are not contraband. Cool. I've been having these shorts. This was my first purchase. <laughs> a lot of people purchase other things on commissary, soup and food. I bought a pair of white shorts, $7. Best purchase I ever made in prison. <laughs> so I wear these shorts every day. 
even if I wear my boxers, I wear the shorts on under my boxers. Because I already know anytime you can be strip searched. And I know the rules because I was the fine safety clerk. See, let me tell you, fine safety is power. I know everything about this prison because I work for Scarborough, which is a fine safety man. And I'm the fine safety clerk. So I don't want nobody fucking with me, <laughs> stripping down nothing. So most of the time, I'm a, I'm a well respected young guy in this prison because I've been here since I was 19. Now I'm 21 and I'm, I'm just gaining my stripes. Officers respect me because I'm respectable. And I'm so respectable that officers don't do this. When they call, this is thing they call child time. That's what people run out the, on the door to go eat like fucking cattle. I said, hey, don't talk to me like that. I'm a civilized human being. And the officers were like, oh, child time. Then they turn around, Ali, excuse me, lunch for you. I'm like, thank you, sir. <laughs> I'm very civilized. So now I'm... I'm about to become uncivilized because it's an officer named Mitchell. It's always somebody, when a bunch of people like you, it's always somebody who doesn't like you. And right, they're right, to prove right. The point. So Mitchell sees me, and let me tell you who Mitchell looked like. Mitchell looked like the dude, what's the dude, Flanders on The Simpsons? <laughs> He's always got a fucking pedophile me. Always. So I'm coming through oh, for shit. no random reason. Mitchell pulls me over in this area. I'm on building eight, is where I stay at. And, and it's a, it's a, tra a high-traffic area, the vestibule area. He stops me in the fucking vestibule area and say, hey, I think you have some contraband. I'm going to shake you down. Like, yo, Mitchell, I just came from necessities. I don't have no fucking contraband. Get the fuck out of here. You know, and put your hands down while you're talking to me because you're supposed to stay three feet away from me because you know I'm the fucking fine safety clerk. So don't fucking break the rules. <laughs> So he say, well, I'm going to strip search you. I'm like, no, you're not. Not in this high traffic area. No, you're not, sir. So he calls the rest of these other officers around, some fucking rookies that don't know me, and he's like, yo, you're going to have to take off your clothes. So I took off all of their white shit, they clothes. Gave it to him, nothing. I got my shorts on, I'm standing there. He said, you're going to have to take them shorts off. I say, that's not the rules, Mitchell. Not the rules. And now I'm, I'm getting a little, a little heated about this because I know I have a problem with being naked in the fucking hallway and I know that I have a problem with this. And I'm, and I'm trying to get Mitchell to understand, Mitchell, this is not gonna be good. Oh shit. Mitchell, Mitchell, Mitchell. I'm trying to explain to Mitchell, Mitchell. So he gets all the rest of these officers around. The captain comes up and says, I can't go against my officer. He say, you got contraband. You're going to have to get naked. I say, Captain, if I get naked in this hallway in front of all these people coming in and out, and I turn right to Mitchell and look at him in his eyes and say, this ain't going to be good, Mitchell. Oh, because shit. Because I don't give a shit about going home at this point. I came here with 15 years, Mitchell. I want to do these little 15 years and go home. But if you make me get naked in this motherfucking festival area, <laughs> so they got all these officers around me, and I didn't threaten this man with the easiest way I can threaten him without getting sent to save. I said, Mitchell, this ain't gonna be good, brother. So long story short, I end up naked. Oh, shit. And I'm pissed. I'm naked and I'm bald headed and he, do, he taking me through this bullshit. Run your fingers through your hair. <laughs> <laughs> Open your mouth. I've been talking this whole time. If something was in my mouth, Mitchell, it'd have been fell out. Open your mouth. <laughs> Lift up your balls. Squat. Let me explain what, what he just did. I went to prison for a nonviolent case, drug dealing. What he just turned me into was a violent young man at 21. Because you made me cough and squat for no fucking reason other than that you wanted to see me in my mind. So now, I'm, I got tears in my eyes and people walking past, other prisoners walking past, and they looking at Mitchell like, Mitchell. 
<laughs> this ain't gonna be good. <laughs> so for eight oh, months. Shit. The build up, bro. I've been the build up. On killing Mitchell. <laughs> like I done wrote my mama this coded, this coded letter letting her know that her son ain't coming home no more. Damn. I told this is what I wrote the letter. I say, Mama, prison is like judicial slavery. I just figured this out. And I'm Nat Turner. Okay. You had to, nobody. Okay. No, y'all y'all figure it out. Okay. <laughs> and my mom writes me a letter back like, just chill. And she got a face with tears on the face. And I'm like looking, I didn't even like, I don't give a fuck about my mama tears. What I care about is this. I was in the fucking festival area with my balls lifted up, squatting, fucking coughing, letting this fucking child predator look at me. This is what I'm fucking focused on. I'm killing Mitchell. I already put it in my mind. It's done. It's done, bro. It's so done. I done told two people. I told two people. Alameen, his name is Leslie Davis, and Mustafa. I don't know Mustafa's name because I was so terrified of Mustafa, I never wanted to ask him. <laughs> <laughs> real name, then what happened? Somebody busting for something else in prison. Then I know his real name. Then it's back on me. Didn't want to know. <laughs> so I told Mustafa. Mustafa was like, "Yeah, that was foul what Mitchell did. Mustafa been here for 27 years. If I kill somebody, I know he down. <laughs> I mean, got 50 years. He ain't going nowhere. Right, I plan right. on spending the rest of my life with Alameen and Mustafa. <laughs> Damn, I'm gonna son. Kill Mitchell. I already know this. <laughs> Don't know how, but like anything in my life, something is gonna break. This dude, I'm coming from Eaton. This dude say, hey, Lee. I said, what's up, man? He said, you know Mitchell is working the foregate. I said, what? Now, mind you, I've been in prison. I haven't been happy about nothing in a long time. The man told me that he was working for gate. I got fucking excited. Let me tell you what four gate is. Four gate is the gate to close custody. I live on eight building. You got to go to four building if you're going to close custody. When you come around the corner in four building, it's like you got to come past the cafeteria and then it's the main building this way and then it's this little side hallway and you can't see anybody until you come around that corner. And Mitchell was at a gate around that corner, which is a good, a, they, he's not gonna make it if I get to him. He's not gonna make it. Oh, shit. And then it's that gate, and then it's the gate to four building. So it's a long way to get to him. Then it's another long way to get to that door. Okay. I got a plan. I'm gonna just run and just fucking just try to get through that gate and just stab Mitchell. But that's stupid. That's stupid. So <laughs> I go back to my cell. And I'm sitting up trying to map out a plan on how I can fucking kill this dude. And then I hear, get ready to go to four building. I look out my cell door. It's a dude that got in trouble. Now he's getting sent to four building. He has this big white bucket with all this shit in it. And I say, hey, you going to four building? He say, yeah. I say, let me carry your mattress for you. He say, cool, I need some help. I go up the stairs, get my knife, put my strap, my shit on me, boom, I got a big ass mattress over my shoulder. So you can't see my face. He's rolling the bucket, mattress over me, come around the building, and I'm so fucking excited because I'm going to kill Mitchell and I'm going to drink a sip of his blood because I fucking hate him that much. <laughs> Savage, bro. I'll be like, yeah, Mitchell on my, I'm, I'm, uh, can't fucking wait. Oh, I'm so violent, I can't wait. So I got this knife and I got this mattress and this dude, and me and this dude, he has no idea what's gonna happen. He's, he, he's accessory to this crime and he is so unaware. He just rolled it, he oh rolled it, talking about his family, man, I'm just fucked up. My family ain't gonna get to visit me. I'm like, good, mine ain't either. <laughs> <laughs> so we coming around the building, we coming past fucking chow hall and I'm just getting more and more excited because this is going to be a good one. <laughs> Somebody apparently tell, because Alameen looking for me, apparently. He's like, yo, Wally at? 
He say, Ali helped old boy move the four building. And Mustafa, because I get this all the backstory, Mustafa say, yeah, he going to four building. And Leslie, Alameen say, hey man, I think Mitchell on four building. Mustafa say, Mitchell on four building? Man, let's go get this boy, because he gonna kill Mitchell. <laughs> <laughs> now it's complicated, because they gotta get out of eight building first. You gotta get out of eight building. You gotta get buzz out your part, come out of eight building. I'm thinking I'm good. I got enough time to commit this murder and hopefully get away with it after I sip his blood. <laughs> oh. So we coming around the corner. The dude has the bucket. He's going through. Mitchell opens the gate. And I'm like, yes. But he don't see me. He can't see me because I have the mattress over my shoulder. And as the bucket goes through the gate, it's, the path is clear. All I gotta do is wait for that bucket to get out the way. Then Mitchell will be standing at the edge of that gate. I can walk through my mattress and just fucking start stabbing Mitchell uncontrollably. <laughs> my God! Yo, this is like a full-blown murder confession, bro. This is what I'm thinking. I got it playing out of my head. I'm dead serious. So I come, I'm right there, and as soon as I fucking get to where I can see Mitchell, Alameen and Mustafa come around the fucking hallway and say, Ali! And I turn and look, and Mitchell sees me and slams the gate. Oh, he tells me shit. To put the mattress down. He can take his own mattress. Put the mattress down. And I'm standing there looking at him. I say, hey, Mitchell. And he just said, put the mattress down. I slid the mattress off my shoulder. I say, you have a good day, Mitchell. And just the fucking terror in his eyes. <laughs> oh, shit. And I know he shit on himself just a little bit. <laughs> was enough for me. And I just walked away real slow with, and didn't break eye contact until I got to Alameen. Damn. Yo, you straight bitch them, bro. <laughs> Yeah, he's straight bitch, though. Yo, big ass middle finger to Mitchell. Huge shout out to Ali Sadiq for this bit. Absolute banger. Sound off in the comments below. Let me know what is next from Ali. And I get to it ASAP. But yo, I'm going to end this video right here. If you made it to the very end, Universal MVP, baby, no. Cap, if you enjoyed this video, y'all know what to do. Make sure to like, comment, share, and subscribe. Thank you for watching, gang. I appreciate y'all. Love y'all. Peace.